Call to order the, the meeting of the park board, parks and recreation board. Greenwood. My watch has five o'clock, and this is January Tuesday, January eleventh, twenty twenty-two. Uh, first item for this evening is approval of the meeting minutes from December seventh, twenty twenty-one. Are there any additions, corrections? Okay, hearing none. Can I get a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Okay. Second. Okay, second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay. The amendments are accepted. Next item is attorney's report. The first item for consideration I have for consideration this evening is our electronic meeting policy. I did provide that to the members um, prior to today's meeting. So if you have any questions, I tried to include a memo and then a proposed resolution itself as to what that policy would look like. I will say that the resolution basically follows uh, the recommendations of the statute, but you can make it more restrictive. It just cannot become less restrictive than as written in the statute. Does this pretty much mirror the city council's page? Yes. Uh, theirs is a little different just because they have more members to their uh, board or to the council, um, but it is very, very similar. Since you are a small board, only two members could be absent. So if you would want to, not absent, but participate electronically. That is other than a total shutdown. Do you, all, a total shutdown. Yes. So this. This only applies yeah. if we're not under an emergency gotcha. order. So at this time, it, it would not even apply because we still are. And you, you don't have to take final action on it this evening. I, I know that I only got to you right before the meeting. So if you'd like to take some time to review, uh, we can discuss at the next meeting as well. Yeah, I think that's probably perfect. Okay. Have a new board member let him absorb this. Okay. All right, I'm going to move on to the next item. The next item for consideration this evening is a use agreement with the social of Greenwood, and that is for the Greenwood Senior Expo, which they'd like to conduct on May 12th from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. And that would be at the Greenwood Community Center in the gym. And they would also like to do set up for that event on May 11th. We've had it for two or three years now. Uh, would hope to have been in the field house uh, at the stage. Uh, so this could migrate over that facility. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be early in that time. So, uh, got any questions? I'd be happy to answer. So, is the is the hope to move it over to the field house if the field house is open by then? Uh, or that's not even a scenario. Okay. The stage. Okay, because it says community center. Right. Right. So, okay. yeah. And if that <clears throat> so miraculously does happen, yeah, we will bring up your consideration. Okay. Any other questions or comments for Rob? I have a motion on the use agreement with the Social of Greenwood for their Greenwood Senior Expo. So moved. Any second? All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed? Passes. Next item for consideration this evening is a service service agreement contract for services with All In Painting. That's for work to be completed at Freedom Springs. The total amount of that contract is four thousand one hundred and fifty three dollars. Uh, any questions? Be happy to answer. Them. This is just um, so we can the age where you start looking at things like this. So our maintenance and maintenance. Um, at the end of last year, we did all the pump house. Uh, it's quite corrosive in there. Okay, the ceiling wrappers, uh, the aspirin door. Uh, this takes uh, care of uh, the restroom entryways, uh, ceilings in there, and then also inside. It's also inclusive of our partnership. So it was a $4,000 deductible uh, off of that. Uh, all in painting is a partner with us. Uh, they do in kind trade, trade services with their partnership. Uh, so they deduct $4,000 off the total cost of that. Uh, so the overall uh, cost uh, is uh, it's $8,153 minus the $4,000, uh, so it's four thousand one hundred fifty. dollars Any other questions or comments for us? Sounds like a great deal to me. Yeah, me too. I think it's just great. 
I have a motion on the service agreement, the contract for services with all intention. So moved. Sir. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Next item for your consideration is entering into a contract for services with A1 Concrete. Again, for work to be completed at Freedom Springs, the products part, and that's for $8,800. Uh, what this is, is a settlement of the concrete decking around Freedom Springs. Obviously, it's settled evenly. Uh, so we have uh, trip hazards, uh, tow stubbers, uh, for lack of a better term. It's uh, going to bring those up, take the flush. Uh, it's a constant eye on that, but we've been open seven years. This is Concrete so are they going to pull those out, or are they just going to they going to pressure them up? Or pressure them up. Uh, I will say we have to be very careful with this, uh, and this company is aware, and I've shared all of our utilities with them. Because what they do is they drill through the concrete, and we're an absolute landmine underneath that concrete, as far as water lines or anything else. So uh, we have to be very careful where they're doing this and how deep they're going. So we are taking caution. This is for eight thousand eight hundred dollars. Any other questions, Rob? Who who found the spots? Did you guys do it? So yeah, myself and uh, I mean the staff. Uh, Prince Springs. Yeah, yeah, all through the season. They okay. Found them. Yep. Any other questions? I get a motion to approve the contract for services with A One Concrete. So moved. Any second? Second. All those in favor, say aye. Uh, All those opposed? Nay. Okay. Uh, next item consideration of the corporate sponsorship agreement with Pet Suites, and that is for an agreement for $2,000 a year for five years. And I included in that sponsorship uh, agreement the different um, sponsorship elements of that. Yeah, the installment rates will be for the following five years. So, so this needs to be an act of 2023. Oh. For not for sure, but I'm pretty sure. What's the table? Right? Can you get that? Can you get approved July or? No. Okay. Because I just invoiced them for this year. So, okay. I think this one starts next year. Just to make sure we get, get it right. Okay. What's going to do? But we'll have a renewing partner for 2023. So we'll discuss that at the next part of work. Sorry about that. Uh, the next item for your consideration this evening is the user fee approval. That includes the recreation program fees and the user fee modification modifications that we both have been provided to you by Ms. Wing. I believe you guys provided all this information. Happy to answer uh, any questions. Uh, this is the standard. Uh, review of all of our user fees. Like we said, we were going to do uh, back in October. Uh, recreational fees is part of that matrix as well. Uh, and minimal, uh, minimal cost recovery on this. And that, that is a key word there is this true cost recovery uh, based on everything, uh, inflated costs. Any questions? Any other questions? Can I get a motion uh, to approve the recreation program fees and the user fee modifications and an instruction to uh, put those changes into resolution form? So moved. Second. All those that approved say aye. 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 All, those all those opposed with nay. Next item is a consideration of a PSA, a professional services agreement with Hirons. And that's for a 2020 scope of work, which is not to exceed $1,000 a month. Any other questions? Uh, this is a uh, public relations and uh, planning strategy uh, partnership or partnership, uh, basically, contract we had with hired. Uh, it's, it has been slowly going down in cost per month. Uh, so this is only 1000 This is $8,000 a month. Uh, for obviously the remainder of the year. Uh, look this out on social media, uh, website uh, uh, updates, and uh, yeah, public relations and 
press conferences and you know, media uh, releases. Rob, why is the cost going down? Are you guys taking on more? We always have. Like, we, we always have. We have. We have an internal marketing department, uh, and I think you know, we take care of a lot of that in house as well. Um, uh, just a lot of duties that we're taking on. Also, uh, I think that's a lot of the a lot of the basis behind it. Any other questions for Rob? Can I get a motion to approve the professional service agreement with high So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Nay. Next item, Thank Greenland. Kelsey. Yeah. Let's go back up a second. Sure. So we did the recreational program piece. Was that an all-inclusive approval of the user fee modification as well? All right. Thank you. Uh, Greenwood Parks Foundation report. I believe you guys have the report. If you have any questions, we be happy to answer. I just have a comment. Looks like it's doing swimming. <coughs> it's, it's doing good. Yeah, I've uh, got good members on there. Uh, and it's, uh, it's great to be excited. <coughs> um, <coughs> get them started with Seal Mouse. Uh, so it's been, it's been a good. Yeah, it's great. Who is the board? <coughs> okay. Who is on the board? Uh, it's Krista Taggart, I know the relation. Yeah. Uh, and then Bo Taylor. Bo Taylor uh, and then Brett Hallworth. And there's another gentleman on there, uh, Don Weir, okay. are the four founding members. And then myself. Any questions for Rob? Okay, moving on. Controllers report. And ratification of the 2022 carryovers. All right. So uh, we sent out the financials. There were two separate reports. One of them is just the month of December, so you can see the actual uh, revenues and expenses for that month. And then the end of the year report uh, included any interest that was posted after the end of the month after uh, the end of December, as well as any adjustments made. Uh, so I draw your eyes to that one. Uh, that's got all the final balances. Uh, so for our operating accounts, uh, we ended the year with a fund balance of 2,203,682. Uh, that gives us a reserve ratio of just under 65%, which is excellent. Uh, that helps us if we get into another situation like what happened with COVID where property taxes were delayed, Cover. Food beverage tax in the year with 1.8 million. SMR funds uh, ended the year up 83,461, so we had 358,000 in that account at the end of the year. Uh, and then the impact fees uh, ended the year 1,074,000, so it was up 275,000 almost uh, for the year uh, receipts over expenditures. A lot of the building we see going up around here, we'll start seeing that number go up too. Any questions on the actual financials there? Is there ever a point where somebody starts looking at the balances and questions if they're getting too high? Not necessarily. I mean, that's kind of our job to look at those and go and decide, okay, is that <laughs> something we need to address our reserves getting too high, but the state does not. So okay. they're not going to look at it and go, well, you guys are saving too much money because their assumption is if you're saving it, yeah. you've got purpose for it. And, mm -hmm. and we do. We've got a capital plan. Sure. Sure. It. And then that wasn't my, yeah. uh, I was just, um, I fall back in the old days a lot. Right. And especially with the SNR accounts. Yeah. Once upon a time, they might have. Thank you for saying from, that. <laughs> from the state's perspective, uh, you know, they're not going to look at your cash balances and say, oh, you can't have any more because you've mm -hmm. got too much there. Okay. They only do that now with debt service accounts. Okay. Everything else, they assume you've got plans. That was always the excuse that was given to me. Right. So, okay. Uh, the, the other thing with that is um, from a taxpayer perspective, you don't want that number to get so high that it looks like you're operating a bank, which is why we try to keep the capital planning pretty wide open. It's, you know, transparent. So we could say, yes, it looks like there's a lot there, but 
we're doing a lot over the next several years that we're planning there. So we can, you know, show that we're not just sitting on that and going, well, we got lots of money. Yeah. yeah. It's a bigger picture, isn't it? Sure. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. And then we have carryovers as well to ratify it. Yes. That was sent out by email in the year. Okay. Can I get a motion to ratify the 2022 carryovers for the Parks and Recreation Department? So moved. Second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Okay. Motion carries. Kelsey? Yes. Did we skip something on the foundation? Yeah. You didn't have any. You did. Bob, well, I got to walk it off. So. Okay, I was like, I, I don't have You're good. Um, so the green, going back to the green, Greenwood Parks Foundation report. Yep. So, uh, a Western Governors University. I got get an email uh, just this afternoon. Uh, they have they want to enter into a partnership with Fieldhouse. Uh, I need your guys' approval for that. Uh, WGU. A, a sponsorship, uh, you mean, Rob? Sponsorship. Yep. Uh, sponsorship with Fieldhouse. Uh, they want one of the one of the four main banners uh, in the turf field on the eastern wall. It's a two year term for one thousand three hundred fifty dollars. This is a national, one of their national campaigns, I assume. Correct. Okay. Any other questions? 1300 a year? Two years? Yeah, for two years. And that's for the foundation, though, so not for the parks board. Correct. So you get your guys' approval based on, like, oh, the user or the, uh, the sponsor, and then we also have the foundation's approval after this as well. Any other questions? Yeah. No. I don't typically walk this on like this. Uh, Preston, you guys have never had an issue with this before. So, uh, got any questions or anything on the table? I'm comfortable with that as well. I, don't have an issue with that. I think it's great to have a, a national yeah. presence up there. I mean, we have the matrix set up. It's pretty much plug and play at this point. Yeah. Time, as long as you agree with the actual sponsor. <coughs> A uh, motion to approve uh, the sponsorship of WGU with the field house. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed, nay. Uh, moving on to the parks report. Well, I have a report. Do um, you have any questions? Do you want to have it I've got questions. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> You guys did a great job on the lights this year. Thank you. They were a good group. They were impressive. They yes, really they were. were. Wait for it snowy. You guys almost do. Oh, sorry. You're doing good today. <laughs> Any other questions, Sam? Moving on to trails. I have one question. How did the new mowers work out? Did we buy two new mowers last year? And I wanted diesel, and we ended up getting gas. Oh, it's very startling. We did have their fun. Run enough channels. Keeping them out of like the airport and Freedom Park. So they don't, you know, trying to keep them as new as you can for as long as you can. Good. Still, awesome. use, still using Ferris's? Yes. Yep. Until they, until they prove otherwise. Yeah. I think that's what we'll keep you. And we, you guys are still buying local on those, right? Say, so you're still buying local on those? Yes. Damn well. Yep. Yeah, he's given us the best price in the past few years. Questions? Okay, moving on to trails. Uh, Any questions for Rob on this recreation report? Okay. Uh, you guys have a copy of my report. Uh, February, I will bring in lots of uh, approvals for. Food vendors, beer and wine agreements, and all that yeah. stuff for uh, the summer. Find you a uh, toddler instructor yet? No, oh, we're working on a couple. Yeah. Do we have new food vendors coming down the pipe? No. Oh, yeah, we've talked with some of the ones that did our uh, food truck Friday nights and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, the referee's going to stay on site this, this year on Saturdays. So, we'll have a couple other nights. Uh, to replace that they've been there in the past. They're going to stay here on their business site. So. All right. 
Yeah, we'll get we'll get some noise in there. Any other questions for Nick? Again. <laughs> trying to slip the fastest. <laughs> Every month. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. Field house report. Uh, we added another thing on as well. So we will not make it happen with this. So. Great. Under recreation there. Yeah. Uh, we wanted to run an event by you guys uh, and see if you would. Uh, Consider it uh, for approval. If not, again, that's fine. We haven't given you any time. Um, we were wanting to do an event in September 17th. That's an event that we would partner up with the fire department. And I'll explain uh, the logistics of that. And we want to do a community camp out at Freedom Park uh, where we would invite the community to stay overnight, bring the tents, um, and we would invite them to camp overnight at Freedom Park. Uh, it'd be inclusive of uh, be late afternoon to mid mid morning the next day. Uh, we have a portable movie screen. We would we would have that going as well. Uh, the fire department comes into this as well because we want to have a campfire. This will also uh, keep in mind. Legal will review this as well. We'll get their approval on this also. Uh, so it's sub subject to their approval. I got the look. So um, <laughs> we would partner with fire department. I talked to Chief Hoggett. He's good. Control. He, he's, he was he was thumbs up for me to put his name in the, in the hat on that as well. Um, we are wanting to charge ten dollars per person. Again, we're still working out the, the price range on that. Uh, the reason why we're kind of pushing this is, is a we want to get going and get set up, and b is we we're going to do another event in that on that date. Um, logistically, we're just not there on um, getting that set up to where we want it to be. Um, so we're dumping that out. And then we're filling this with something that we know we could be. This is a Saturday night. I believe so. Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Saturday. Yeah. Whose brilliant idea yeah, was it? I think I think, collaboration. It, I think it, but we call it collaboration, but I do think it came from the rec department. That's a great uh, idea. It's a I great think idea. It's great. Uh, but again, I think what I would like the board of at least to consider upon legal's review is the concept of letting us use Freedom Park that way. And then also charging up to ten dollars per person. So are you now, looking, are you looking at a family fee? Is this a, is this an adult event or a family event? It's family. family. Okay, <laughs> so you're going to charge ten dollars. Are you going to set up a family fee, twenty five dollars per? Well, we, we're something? talking about it by site, or we're talking about it by per person. In order for us to have cost recovery, we thought it'd be better to do it per person. Okay. And I know these are particulars that I'm asking you guys have to work out. So I just <coughs> off the top of my head, alcohol. Yeah. What's that? Alcohol? No. Okay. You're going to have fishing, Nick? Uh, yeah, we'll put some fishing poles set up. We'll talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll get a we'll get dinner, like a hot dog dinner or something that night. Do breakfast in the morning. One is this. Wow. Oh, yeah. Nobody else is doing anything like this. I don't no. Of course, this is all upon legal. Does sure. Of course, I've heard this. Yeah, this I can see her on Reddit. I don't see I don't think they have a problem. She's an extra baby. No, I have no turkey in the mother. I I think it's a great idea. But it will be fully supervised. Like we will have staff and stay the night there and we'll supervise that. And also the fire park will be there also. So how's that gonna work with Freedom Springs being open. It's the families are there camping. Freedom Springs are closed. Yeah, it's just 17. Okay. Labor Day is the first of September. Okay. Yep. But we actually considered moving it up so we could have the Freedom Springs use. incorporated into that. But it's not going to work out. So I, I, guess the, I guess the next step is to work this out with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess I want to at least want the board to consider yeah. is that can we use Freedom Spring, Freedom Park? Can we can we use that land use for that? And then also can we the fee of up to ten dollars per person? I'm excited. I'm excited to see what you guys work out. And if that works out up to ten dollars per person, we may translate that into uh, per group or per site as well. We can do that. So I guess. I don't think you need to take any official action today, but okay. I think you got it. Oh, I want to vote on it tonight. I'm all <laughs> in favor of it. 
I think we can, we can start working on that, but I definitely want to bring it to your yeah. attention okay. and then we'll get started on it and get it rolling. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, field house report. Hello, you should have a copy of the field house report. Field house back is still working out the scene, sir. I'm sure you guys are aware of that. Um, Free Friday, I just want to say the employees did a great job. We ran very smoothly for that event. Loose equipment, we're still, uh, the loose equipment is trickling in. So today we received all of our life fitness equipment. So the walking track equipment. We also got our stretching cage in this week. And uh, last week we got our volleyball equipment in, which is great. Um, so waiting on a few more things to come in. Um, construction, I feel like now we walk in, you see a lot of progress. Um, if anybody would like to come check it out, just let me know. I'm walking through a good tour. A um, couple of rooms that we'd like to see you done this week. Yeah. It's going to be a golf simulator room and also the program that is adjacent to us. So, any questions? Let me know. The building looks amazing lit up at night. Yeah. I noticed you've been leaving the lights on all night. It looks incredible going by. Really, from all angles, you're coming up Meridian, so you're coming down Meridian Street. It, looks it definitely uh, has that impression. Uh, yeah. Great looking building. Very modern. Other questions for Ricky? Okay. Moving, Thank you. Sorry. Moving on, can you send a report? You guys have my report. If you have any questions, just let me know. Keep going in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's, that's, these are all good numbers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Are the dog the dog parks are they fading away? It doesn't seem like you have as many swiping cards or whatever. Oh, Seems I, like isn't there kind of an ebb and flow with the dog parks depending yeah, on the yeah, weather? It's, 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 it's a little winter right now. Which well, I understand that, but that's still out. for the year it's down. Yeah, it's down. I just wondered if it's kind of you know people are getting tired of the dog parks or. That was our, um, what did you guys call it? Green, Green Friday or? Hey, record numbers. Yeah, um, yeah pretty well. Can you show me the most of the people we did that day? That was pretty well. Hey, Jen, how was that? When did it like 20? It sold nearly 200 community center memberships that day. Oh, wow. Just on that deck. Yeah. I, I think we did. Eight, 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 and almost 10 field house, I believe. Currently, we're up to 21 membership. Yeah, so that's, I still, that's one of the best kept secrets of town when you guys do that. So, you were selling memberships for everything at uh, one time in one place? Yeah, so Great Friday, the community, 20% off all memberships for one day. So we so were busy. We're hot. We get slammed. It was busy. And it's kind of that, you know, that year end thing for yeah. us, push our memberships. And this year, I think it was even bigger because I think the word kind of got out that we were raising our fees. Yeah. The user fees went up to 20%. So, how's that membership going to work for his field house if you sold 21 and it's going to open this year? But they become effective the day the field house opens. Correct. And then we'll they're going to break year, one we'll calendar from that day. The clock will start ticking when that, that first day. Okay. Yeah, they'll be able to. Other questions for Sharon? Moving on, election of board positions. So, can I get a nomination for president? I make a motion to nominate Tim Schrader. Is there a second? Second. Any other nominations? Okay. Hearing none, then all in favor of Tim Schrader as the president of the Parks and Recreation Board for 2022, say aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Okay, moving on for the secretary. Can I have a nomination for the Park and Recreation Board secretary for 2022? The secretary. No, secretary. No, secretary. We, do, we don't need a vice president. We just need a president and secretary. I don't. You don't need a vice? No. Nope. I nominate Chris Burton. Okay. Any second? Okay. Any other nominations? Hearing none, all those in favor of Chris Burton as the secretary for the Parks and Recreation Board for 2022 say aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Okay, hearing none, then that passes. So Tim Schrader, Chris Burton. 
Any other business from the public? Any other business from the park board? Bring up one last time, let you guys know. Uh, we are in motion on closing on the guest center, the problem we have guest center. Sure. My name is Mike Probst. I'm a new member of the Parks Board. I uh, made an application with the mayor, Mark Murphy, Matt Mark Meyer, and uh, he uh, signed me in and uh, I accepted the position. And I've been a landscape architect, practiced for 30 years. Lived in North Carolina for about 10 years, worked for a private firm, I did real estate, resorts, golf course communities, and those kind of things. And then I moved back to Indiana, since I'm from Indiana, uh, to take a position in an engineering firm as a design, director of design um, for 15 years and uh, was on boards and committees in Bloomington. So I'm excited about being part of the board and uh, making my contribution when I can. Well, Welcome. Well, appreciate you being on, sir. Okay. Uh, final signing of the claim. Somebody has it. It's up there somewhere. It's on. Okay. Any other business? If not, then we are adjourned at 5 31. Thank you, Kelsey. Thank you.